In the process of working closely with our customers, both service providers and content providers, we recognize a tremendous opportunity and need in the industry. That was the genesis of the BTI 7800, or the Intelligent Cloud Connect solution. The 7800 is part of the BTI product portfolio under the same management, fully interoperable with our existing 7000 and access portfolio. The 7800 does a couple of very important things. First and foremost, it's a very rich set of optical capabilities. We call it the, the uh, expressway or the transport layer. So as an example, it takes what typically consumes a full seven foot telco rack in the industry and puts it into 14 rack units. So we're very proud that the 7800 today is the most dense platform for 10 gig and 100 gig interfaces. So at the transport layer, it's, it's very rich and robust set of capabilities. That was, uh, that was innovation alone, and this is very important, as you can imagine, in, uh, as more and more of the traffic moves to the cloud, whether it's consumer or business services, you know, space and performance is always a premium. So each one of our service slots has what we call a universal forwarding module. And the universal forwarding module has two BTI interface cards. So in the example here, we've got 100 gig coherent as the, uh, as the top uh, interface. And the, the interface card on the bottom is, uh, in this case, it's 12 ports of 10 gig SFP plus. So it gives you tremendous flexibility as a service provider to pick the form factor and populate in line with your client and your line side needs. On top of the, uh, the rich optical capabilities, though, we've also converged the platform and converged the network. So often the, the um, service provider environment, you have the transport gear right next to very high end switches or routers. That's no longer required to operate them as separate platforms. So in the case of a universal forwarding module at the 7800, we've got a rich set of packet processing. We've got a rich set of high-speed interconnects. And we can connect the fabric and the chassis. And we can turn on a bunch of uh, layer 2 capabilities, layer 2 and a half, and really change the architecture of the network. What this does is it converges layers, removes platforms. And so in that case, we're able to very efficiently um, collapse the network make it simple for operations. We remove failure points, we remove rack units, we remove BTUs, makes it much, much more cost effective. On top of both the, um, the, the expressway and the highway, or the transport and the packet processing, we also embed applications. So we give you the ability to turn on a rich set of services. In this case, you can populate a, a, a universal slot with a, the latest from Intel in terms of uh, uh, Intel CPUs, you can use Cavium if that's your processor of choice. And the fact we run on off-the-shelf compute hardware running on a Linux operating system makes it very efficient to bring in new applications. So these applications come from BTI in some cases for richer analytics or certain capabilities. In many cases, many of the content providers, many of the data center operators, service providers themselves are driving their own applications. They want to embed those into the, into the network. So we, we enable that model. And finally, we can work with third parties. If they run on Linux or, you know, a, a very simple port can occur to embed that into the application into the 7800. And in that case, the 7800 controls how you get on and off the application blades. But, you know, we, we allow the innovation from the industry to, to happen without us having a tight control over it. This is in stark contrast to many of the traditional OEMs where they take many years to develop a, a blade, when they deliver the blade, it often exhausts the capabilities of the blade talking to its own fabric or to the OS of the embedded platform. In this case, it's much simpler. You don't need a complicated SDK. You don't need months or years of development. You can very quickly run a set of applications as virtual machines on, on the 7800 platform. We also have the flexibility where many times these services or the applications will reside in data centers, and that will be the case for many deployments, but often service providers want to put it further out in the network. And this could be the case at peering points or remote central offices where you want to take advantage of those virtual machines on the 7800. So we're very excited about the reception that's happened with uh, our new platform. Again, all under the comprehensive B BTI umbrella. Gives you a rich set of capabilities to turn up today, but also a lot of investment protection to innovate ongoing as you, your network demands change in terms of additional capacity, new services, and you know, continued freedom to control your own destiny. The final thing I want to highlight again is the 7800 as well as all of them are under a common software layer. And we've got a rich set of management interfaces on the, our platform. So for example, at the 7800, we, we have TL1, CLI, SNMP. We also support NetConf. And this is going to be integrated under BTI's PSM, 
But as you can imagine, we also feed a bunch of uh, northbound interfaces to your own OSS, your own third-party gear, and we're very comfortable with the migration over time to third-party controllers or APIs where we're very easy to embed into your workflow or your higher-level control plane. Again, thanks for spending the time with BTI. We're very excited about uh, our existing customers. We continue to work very closely with, uh, with them. And as you can see, we continue to not only enhance our existing portfolio, but add to it with additional capabilities and new services, giving people a long, useful life for our product and a very rapid innovation cycle in line with the demands you face as a, as a service provider.